Hey traders, Ivan Delgado here, Max Sass commentator at Global Prime Forex. I am back with a weekly edge report as it relates to the Forex market. Remember that I am putting together this content by first aggregating the performance of each and every of the G8FX uh, currencies and from there I form an opinion by creating an index. This index is going to, as I said, aggregate and calculate the overall performance of a currency against its main peers. So without further ado, let's first look into the Euro index. Actually, before I look into the Euro index, let me give you an eagle view of my main conclusions. The main takeaway by aggregating these performances of the G8 FX currencies is, to be honest, I am quite blown away by the ongoing amplitude of movement in the Canadian dollar index. It is also worth highlighting that once I tackle the US dollar index, you will notice that it still looks very fragile and we seem to be on the verge of what might constitute a very important technical breakout. Now, should this occur, brace yourself because the next phase of US dollar weakness lasting weeks, if not months, may be soon upon us. There is not yet validation, but I want you to be ready for that. Now, next, the yen. The yen is another currency that looks poised to extend further down. There is no reasons to think otherwise. And the rest of the markets, except the GBP, are pretty choppy. The GBP has been gaining momentum, even though now it's revisiting an area that has proven to act quite reliably for the interest of sellers. So with that being said, let's dive into first the Euro index. And as you can tell, um, what do you see in here? Well, to me, quite clearly, this is a sideways action market. And the Euro has uh, kind of like somehow reinforced the notion that we are going nowhere fast we keep rejecting away from this resistance at the bottom we have this uh, you know punchy movements away from it we also have a very well defined midpoint of the range so this is the area in the euro index that we have to contend with absolutely very like really really noisy really choppy until we can find a resolution outside of this box this valuation the four for the time being is very well anchored within these well-defined parameters so if you're looking for the type of conditions that would allow you to get that discernible directional bias you can actually look elsewhere because this market is not offering this type of conditions on the flip side however one of the advantages that i see trading the euro this week or in previous weeks is that by picking this currency it really is proposing also that you can find stability within this uh, asset because it exhibits very very uh, poor ranges so if you're going to be matching the euro against a currency the likes of for instance the Japanese yen which looks pretty uh, fragile then you can actually be in for some good trades right there okay so that would be one of the advantages of finding an index that is uh, ranging and then combining that against another like the Japanese yen that I'll show you in a minute that is clearly downtrending okay next up the CHF now this is what I uh, this is my read in the CHF. So essentially, I believe that we may have reached or we are close to reach a top in this market. Remember that we are coming hot off the heels of this very, uh, very, very important level of uh, support. This was aligning with the late 2019 swing lows. Notice here that we created that base before that eruption of demand. This was also a 200% projection target. So let me show you what I mean. Notice here that we had this high, this low. We can then measure these uh, projected movements that 100% was broken. And the second one, next projected symmetrical target got reached to the peak and that only uh, reinforced the uh, you know the power of this level ever since this is what uh, 
we've been doing in the CHF. By the way, we have been uh, getting buyers, very stubborn buyers on every single div for one, two, three, four, five uh, candles in a row. However, we've made it all the way back towards the origin of a very strong supply imbalance from late February. These are typically areas where the price tends to show a response and we're starting to see that response by price moving back down. I've outlined this magenta area and uh, this could really represent the projected top before we roll over. In this region, buyers are going to be faced with uh, not only this supply, but also if we look back in time, you'll notice that here we had a structural previous low that is undoubtedly going to become a strong resistance. So we might still be pushing uh, an extra, let's just say 0 0.20 or 0 0.30 percent and buyers will still be faced with this major area of resistance and therefore this somehow reinforces the credence of this area to act ultimately as a role reversal location either it is in this candle or we find ourselves pushing a little bit higher nonetheless you know this market remains pretty constructive also when you look at the key metrics that i'm uh, accounting for on this weekly time frame such as the ft of fractals which is going to be giving us that uh, structural uh, overview and then the SMT reading the momentum both are still in red flashing red so I would say that the proponents of evidence suggest that this market ultimately is going to be resuming the downtrend let's now move into the US dollar the US dollar is playing with fire here uh, last week I reported that uh, it was definitely a blow for those that have been bullish the uh, the US dollar and seeing this acceleration to the downside so rapidly into these trend lows now we are once again in a position that I don't think makes the US dollar look any better we did have certainly a punchy movement a rebound of this support but notice the amount of absorption that has existed away from this level this to me suggests that this market continues to be welcomed by an army a legion of uh, sellers and this absorption well portrayed through the week as i said is suggesting to me that the pressure to eventually see a breakout uh, you know it's there so the currency really is on the brink of uh, breaking loose and if it does break loose by uh, closing below this level of uh, support as I said this would be compromising this structure and we might be in for some uh, real pain in the US dollar in weeks if not months ahead, uh, ahead. again uh, we need to wait for the 2021 uh, low to be taken out actually if we have an acceptance beyond this line to me that would suffice and would make the retest of this previous low here of uh, february 22nd almost a given so that's where i'm sitting on in the us index i have uh, an anticipation that we really can see that breakout uh, eventually uh, confirm but we are not there yet okay japanese yen so the japanese yen continues to be well on course to further downside towards this 100% projection target uh, with this uh, previous range broken uh, this projected path of this resistance uh, in my opinion is going to be the one that the uh, you know the sellers keep pursuing and uh, these sellers for the time being I believe will keep uh, outpacing the, uh, the the rhythm or the rate of uh, purchases by those that uh, want to be playing the uh, the, con the contrary game here so there might be let's just calculate that from last week's close there might be an extra 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 percent of fed at downside until we reassess here in the japanese yen the situation shorting the yen has definitely been a very solid play all year long you can really see that it's been a one-way street we had certainly a few pullbacks here and there here here right here a bit of a consolidation but for the most part this is the market that in my opinion is just keeps attracting keeps drawing more and more capital into an asset that has been providing the best prospects of return this year 
next up is the gbp uh, the gbp index now the gbp index has momentum and structure behind supporting this plate that being said we are hitting that resistance notice how many times we actually failed at that resistance in the past in recent in recent times and this up thrust candle has once again struggled at that resistance so do not try to be a hero and gain exposure unless you are a scalper or a momentum trader around these points the best entry location would have been somewhere here so what you can do if you're more kind of like the swing trading personality or you know profile when it comes to trading is that you wait for this market to finally now show its hand closing beyond this level of resistance and that will definitely open up the doors and the prospects for a feather push higher and we might be then speculating that the gbp will be targeting that high if that is the case let's calculate what is the upside potential about a 1.5 percent so not too shabby at all okay so i remain pretty constructive in the gbp but the price being advertised at the moment unless you are a short-term trader is not optimal let's now look into the next market and that includes the canadian dollar currency so in this market the aggressive buy side action that we saw emanating away from this absorption and away from this very very uh, obvious up thrust candle has continued the canadian dollar has been the uh, darling in the fx uh, domain this year by a country mile the main feature that i see in this market is that momentum is very strong notice that we we have these measures these metrics that portray that ever since this breakout notice that we have not yet uh, seen a turnaround in either the structure not the momentum so the canadian dollar is undoubtedly the one that is outshining the rest of the market and uh, i would be speculating that with such a strong push to the upside we might still have some gas left in the tank for the cat to really purchase sorry for, <laughs> to really pursue this next target and uh, that would be uh, let's just calculate that another 0.8 percent or so of further upside i was actually speculating that this could represent a top in the canadian index this might actually turn out to still be the case but you do not want to actually be uh, you know swimming against the current and this is a market that has clearly portrayed that the momentum is very strong even if you're going to be a contrarian trader i believe that with such a strong momentum it's really going to be taking time to mature unless we have some type of bombshell some type of uh, very bad negative news affecting the canadian dollar for now we are not seeing that so that you know trajectory to the upside into the 100% projected target which remember as I'm always saying pick the high pick the low create that bracketed area and then duplicate that this is where we might be expected to be landing next in the Canadian dollar index so overall this means that going forward the prospects for uh, the uh, cat the gift that keeps on giving are pretty bright up next let's look into the Aussie so the Aussie right here, as you can see, has been in a tight consolidation and now we are sitting at the range bottom. Now, if you are a macro bullish, uh, you know, you have a macro bullish view in the Aussie because we have been actually in this prolonged bullish trend ever since the COVID lows. You can clearly see that and you see the market sitting around this point that should get you uh, pretty excited and the reason being is because in this context of a prolonged bullish trend since the COVID-19 lows the Aussie, the Aussie now currently sits at a place that ever since we have been revisiting this uh, level of support following the break of a structure the returns that have been delivered have been pretty good okay now also bear in mind the following whenever we have a market that is consolidating at this length at this uh, uh, hefty and uh, lengthy uh, for this lengthy periods at these hefty levels uh, i would say that these 
tends to actually be an endorsement by the market that there is this uh, wide acceptance that the Aussie for the most part is an asset that continues to attract lots of uh, you know buying interest at these very high levels and this eventually can turn out to be a pretty good precursor to an eventual break into the direction of the dominant trend and that is to the upside okay now this scenario obviously needs to validate itself and that would only happen upon an acceptance outside of the range so we're talking that the Aussie has to actually recover all the way breaking this uh, line of resistance and only then we can really speculate that the next run up in the Aussie is in store and that would be about one uh, percent or so so in either direction if we on the flip side break to the upside and we have a candle that accepts uh you know below this line that would also be about you know one point one to one point two percent that would be the projected target in either direction okay so that's where uh, my analysis in the Aussie ends, no more to actually see, and I'm going to be concluding with uh, what appears to be for the time being a chop fest, and that is the New Zealand dollar index. Now, the New Zealand dollar index had uh, recently failed for a second time at this resistance. Notice that we had been struggling one, two, uh, multiple times we really have been struggling at this outline resistance, and ever since we are now pulling back. Now, where are we pulling back to? To a level that if you actually look closer and study the more granular movements here, we had an impulsive candle and the market has found this um, consumption of bits, this absorption away from this origin of that demand. Now we are retesting. So uh, the jury is still out there whether or not we're going to find Fed buyers. This is definitely an area that did attract in, uh, you know, in the recent in the recent uh, days, uh, as per last week's uh, print, a uh, serious amount of buyers. So you might be speculating that around this point, the New Zealand will continue to, you know, uh, get that uh, pattern of buyers uh, emerging, and this would be acting as a springboard for price to revisit the uh, this this high that has been so reliably. Uh, you know, so reliably working for the interests of sellers. Nonetheless, this is all happening uh, right in the middle of what I consider to be a broad range between this high and then this well-defined low. So we are somewhere in the midpoint of this range. Okay, so you could be leaning against this support and find feather upside. And if we see a break by the candle of this weekly chart breaking below, then you can be speculating that the market will be revisiting the previous low okay so that's all i got to offer for today hopefully you love this content smash like and comment below if you do so i would be very appreciative and remember if you want to have a conversation with me if you want to be interacting and getting to know into you know a bit more for the finer details of this analysis of what i do on a daily basis you can reach out to me through the discord room the link is down below until the next video is bye for me cheers